<laughs> All right, folks, without further ado, let's get this party started. You can always you can always tell when family ain't been together for a while. We're like 17 minutes in and we ain't got one video yet. But we ain't been together for a while, so we, we had to catch Y'all up. Y'all let me start talking. That's what happened, we, man. We, we I'm, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do right. We had to catch up. Um I wanted to this this dude is trash. I'm in a tough spot right now, and I'm not sure if I'm the bad guy or not. My 27-year-old girlfriend is named Sarah, and I'm a 26-year-old guy. We've been together for three years. She's always been passionate about her job as a teacher and has worked really hard to build up her career. However, a few weeks ago, I accidentally stumbled upon some photos of Sarah on Instagram that I'd never seen before. They were pictures of her in some very revealing clothing, and some of them were even nude. I was shocked and confronted her about it, and she told me that she used to be a lingerie model before becoming a teacher. She said she stopped doing it because she didn't want it to affect her career, and she thought that I already knew about it. I didn't know how to react at first, but eventually I told a few of my friends about it. One of my friends is a gossip and ended up telling someone who works at the school where Sarah teaches. Long story short, the photo somehow got into the hands of the school board and Sarah was fired for unprofessional behavior. Sarah is devastated and blames me for ruining her career. She says that I should have kept my mouth shut and that I betrayed her trust. I feel terrible about what happened, but I didn't know that it would lead to this. Am I the bad guy for accidentally ruining my girlfriend's career? Yes. So, a couple things with this, this, this thing. This is not real or not, right? And no, no, I admit. No, this ain't real or not. I got a little distracted in the earlier part, but I think I got the gist. You know, you got this girl that you love and blah, blah, blah. And you found an old stash of some stuff and uh, you saw parts of her from her life before you and you made you feel uncomfortable and you couldn't keep it to yourself, though, even though this is your other half. So you want to keep certain pieces of information out the streets, but you just had to go and vent. And you knew your friends are gossip and you've been mm -hmm. to the gossip. Mm -hmm. And um, there you go. So are you the a-hole? In this scenario, yes, you are the a-hole because it does not matter what your intentions are. It only matters what the effect is. So you didn't mean for this to go filter out and come back around and have your, your wife caught up in a reverse Me Too situation. I feel for you there, or your girlfriend in a reverse yeah. situation. Yeah. I feel for you there. And um, on that part, it sucks, man. That's not what you meant to have happen. I can't sit there and say you should have known better because you shouldn't have known better. You ain't know. You ain't know it was going to go this way. Mm -hmm. um, none of this was intentional. But it's your fault. It's still your fault. Intentional or not. So you... I understand from a human standpoint, right? You come across something and you're like, yo, the girl that I, you know, she's all, she's my baby. And then you're like, oh, she was everybody baby at a minute. She was a jump off for a second, huh? Okay. But that was her living her life before you even existed. It ain't none of your business. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's back there. You know, unless you find out she was prostituting herself and that's a problem for you. You know, I know people say prostitution will still work. Yes, it is, but it doesn't mean I have to like your job. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> but none of that's it anyway. You didn't feel comfortable with the past. It bothered you. You went to her about it. Wasn't nothing she could really do about it. What you want to do? Unlike unlive her life? She can't do that. Um, and then it flowed. So you're the a hole in the situation, but you're not an a hole. All right, let me throw my two cents in, too. 
I agree with you that he's the a hole. I disagree that he didn't do it on purpose. I think he did it exactly on purpose. Because he, he knew, told the gossip. He, he, he literally he told, the, told gossip. the gossip who he knew was going to spread the word. You did it on purpose. You felt some type of. Got her fired on purpose? You say yeah. he got her fired on purpose? Yeah. I, mm, I don't know. I don't think he wanted to embarrass her. But you know somebody that you knew was a gossip. What you think they were going to do? Keep it to themselves? Yeah. I don't think he purposely went out of his way to get her fired. I think he was just saying it just to say it. So I don't I, I don't know what his purpose was to spread the word that hey she got pictures on there. Hey, go take a look. I I to me, I, I this is where I stop at. I honestly cannot yeah. fathom. 26, right? He was 26, she's 27. She's 27. Yeah. Okay, so then. I cannot understand. So whatever you found ain't probably was five years old. Yeah, I can't understand why you would tell somebody else. I, I just can't get that. I don't want to say I can purposely get her fired from her job without understanding what was the point of you going to tell in your words the gossip. But see, that's just it. He this person think. is known for being a gossip, right? So we know that right now we're like, OK, but is that person known for gossiping his personal business? See, people are not cut, are not cookie cutters. They're not black and white. You know what I'm saying? So like I, I grew up being taught. I don't know who taught it to me, but they taught it to me in time. And I appreciate it that everybody got a best friend and your best friend's best friend might not be you. OK, so he tells his friend who is a gossip, but his friend might not have a history of gossiping about him. See what I'm saying? Like, two people can be messy. You know, you have two friends who are just messy people. Like, they love mess, right? But they don't usually run and tell each other's business. They just like the glory in everybody else's business. That could very well be the situation. Mm -hmm. The fact is, once you let it out your mouth, you lose custody of what you said. <laughs> And there you go. I just think he didn't. Trace gonna throw mom in the trash. <laughs> no, no, I th the school is definitely trash because I think they can do this and legally get away with it. But we always tell people, "Oh, you should give people a second chance." She modeled lingerie. She didn't. Well, okay, she did pose nude, but okay, how many years ago was this? Mm -hmm. Was she 18, 19? I mean, if she was 17, okay, that's illegal. But the school is trash. He's definitely trash. I think he did it on purpose. He told the person that he knew ran their mouth. What you thought he was going to do, just keep it to himself or keep it to herself? Boy, mm -hmm. Bob, you did it on purpose because you mad. You wanted to be first well, on base, and you weren't. Maybe I missed something. Cause, no, I definitely did. How I mean, did... Okay, the boyfriend saw the picture. Yes. Yes. How did the school Of the lingerie see modeling it? and the nudity. Yes. And that was him they going were up on stuff, Instagram. Yeah, they were up on Instagram. They, which, which, by the way, let me throw this caveat in there. Which, by the way, I do have one issue with that and that is why is your Instagram still up and running in that capacity? Yeah, you should have took that thing. You should have see, see, this is where now. But I don't blame that's I don't where I'm victim headed. blame, but yeah, you should have I know, no, no, no. See, I know people always mm -hmm. say don't victim blame, but sometimes a victim earns some darn blame. They culpable in their <laughs> own trauma. So that's what the thing, right? Okay, you're gonna be a school teacher, a preacher, uh, no, something that you counts. know. I don't think because at least a preacher can say, Well, I learned and I shouldn't have done it. Blah blah blah. No, nah, Tracy, you know, they ain't how the church gonna just accept that. They're not gonna accept that you had an Instagram, um, a uh, OnlyFans page, you know, two years ago. <laughs> Are you serious? You know, <laughs> Opening your booty crack, you and then now all of a sudden, but I ain't. that was my former theas, life. Theas, theas, by nah, the way, don't say, say just oh. say 
O-F. O-F. Just say O-F. O-F. Don't say the whole name. We it. all had this lesson last weekend. Yes, we had weekend. this lesson last week. Oh, okay. It's so O-F. you got your own little private Which, which by the way, was funny because then he goes and talks about it, opening boots and opening up butts and that's so <laughs> what's yep. the worst thing? And that I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. So, no. all right. So, but I'm saying, Tracy, if you find out your pastor within the last five years, because she ain't but 27, 27 years old. So in the last five, six, seven, nine years, you find out the pastor had a private subscription service where he was making money winking with his third eye. And you think that congregation <laughs> ain't going to be like, nah, bro. You they are not me. I'll tell you how I would see it. First of all, ain't none of my business. Tracy, it ain't none Tracy, of my business. You would not be okay. It's none of your business till they tell you about it. Now, every time you go to what take you did before and you, you knew you the one holding me, the cracker, you're going to be like, holding the cracker, they come in those little plastic bins now. Did you wash your hands first? You see, I but asked all this regardless. stuff. <laughs> they should have on their white gloves. But anyway. Yeah. So when the last time the gloves got washed though. But yeah, anyway, but, um, the teacher. but the thing is, if you're gonna be in a particular position, right, where you know you're public facing, you scrub all your social media so mm -hmm. that it points in that direction. Like you might have been one of the original cast members of Girls Gone Silly, <laughs> but you know you about to go teach. Second grade might want to clean that up a little. So is, I'm just saying he was wrong. She was living her best life, and she, that was in her past. But unless she hasn't logged into her own Instagram in years, which is likely because I don't look at mine. But <laughs> <laughs> come on, you know if you look, I would know if one of my uh, one of my two Santa's helpers. Was like out there floating around on on the, on the internet. I would know, right? You got Santa's helpers, you know Santa and his two helpers. Anyway, you know what you got out there on the internet. Oh clean that up. But what if she did clean it? Because you know when you clean something, that doesn't mean it's off the internet. Somebody could have. It doesn't mean it's off the internet, but, but it takes somebody could have changed it. Go get it. Never for the school. The school is only going to do one thing. It's going to go to the compliance person, and the compliance person is going to log in, sad. search for you, and they're going to look through your stuff, and then they're going to see yay or nay. Mm -hmm. If you've deleted it or made it private, the school can't get to it. Right. Yeah. But what if, they can't somebody, well, what if, what if the people who she opened that page up to, JPEG right. that photo and said, hey, look at this. Look at what she did. Mm -hmm. Now she has an a case. She has a case for actually uh -huh. going against them for revenge porn. So mm -hmm. you can do that, mm -hmm. you know, or revenge of yeah. uh, sensual hugging or whatever they call it. But she mm -hmm. can go ahead and, and pursue that I if that's, that's the case. She might still lose her job, but that's because we live in a world of people who claim to be holy and they want to sit there and be like, "Oh no, oh goodness no, oh no no no." Charles, stop! Put that away. We're going to play with the ball later. Oh no no no, no 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 no! And that's that's what I'm, saying. I'm saying her past is her past. She's a teacher now. Let's concentrate on that and just leave her past behind. But when is the past the past? That's a curious question for mm -hmm. me. The past. Like, it's such a sliding thing. When is the past the past? The past. Like yesterday. Yesterday, the yesterday, day before that, the day so, before that, the so, day before that. Do so you find out that someone slapped they they they, they lady? Silly on Saturday night, and then they sitting there Sunday. She's sitting there with a black eye, and and they in church. And then he walk up to the front and said, "Forgive me, cause I I beat my wife up last night." But that was yesterday. It was the past. It was the past. That's the past. Man, ain't no. I don't want to go nowhere near nobody with that kind of forgiveness or nothing. Cause cause you hold grudges with people from a long time ago, just like I do, Tracy. So I don't hold that's grudges. That's interesting stuff. Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton. Oh no, that's not that's political. I don't have no personal grudge. No, I don't you know can't that separate. People. You can't separate yes, your you politics can. from yourself. It's who you are. You can't. That, that's the funny thing. 
we're on another tangent. But that's a funny thing. I've run into with religious people so many times over the years because they want to be so convenient. Oh, no, no, no. This is my religious belief. And then this is my personal belief. Oh, wait, wait a minute. When you became two people? I'm not two people. <laughs> I'm saying it's a certain time where you need to she she was an Instagram lingerie model. That's what she used to be. It's not like she's modeling lingerie on the side and a teacher at the same time. Now that I would probably be Maybe like, she is. We don't know. She just says she not. Oh, well, no, I'm, wait, 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 wait. The boyfriend wait. said that was from the past. The from Yeah, but he five, just ain't got access to that page. He's a he jealous little boy that thought he was first on base, but he found out he wasn't. Then he said, oh, I'm a good man. I'm a okay, kid. I don't think that um, <laughs> posing for lingerie pictures or nudes, not only that, you it be does first not lady. mean that somebody has gotten to first base before. That's not what I mean by first base. But then did that's you right, because me? Melania Trump is was a virgin. That's not the context I'm talking about first base. Not I'm talking about the terms thing. of first base as in I'm her first true love. I'm, I'm her I'm, first. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing good, Mickey. I've been three yeah. years. I'm, I'm not talking about the first that she had sex with. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh, I thought that's <laughs> what you were saying. No, I, that's I, not, I really did too. No, so, that's not what I'm saying. Because first base is really technically holding hands or something like that, ain't it? Um. Yeah. No, not really. Uh, that's not the first, first base, base like that I hands, Second base is a kiss. Third base is that touchy touchy, you know. But it's over the clothes, not under the clothes. And then you learn some different bases than that. And then you home yeah. run it, you know. Yeah, is, you, you know. You learn some you know. Yeah, that's not the way I was using the term. First oh no, base. no, no! Wait a minute, you're right. Because home run was yeah. Because if you scored, you scored. <laughs> yeah, that I agree with that. That would be home run. Yes. But that's uh, not how I was using the term. And then if you had a lot of people doing it all at the same time, that's a grand slam. <laughs> let's, let's move the living <laughs> hell on. If you get too excited and you didn't even get a chance to consummate the situation, that's a pop fly. <laughs> No, that's a foul. <laughs> oh gosh, now I'm sitting here talking. Oh, shut up. <laughs> no, that's if you're trying to do it, it and one of y'all Tracy, that's when one of when you're trying to do it and one of the two people ain't took a bath. That's a foul. No. I needed you the most. So you oh. I'm sorry. Forgive me, y'all. Forgive me. I wonder what would be a bonus. Josh. Josh. Please. Both. We're moving on. Okay. The next story. <laughs> <laughs> God, I miss this group. He got his house back. So it's the wind up in the pitch. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. 